वो ख्वाब से अपनी मंजिलों को सजाता है रास्तों से अपनी मुश्किलों को हटाता है चैंपियन वो है जो नामुमकिन को मुमकिन कर दिखाता है तो देखिए मेरे साथ हौसलों की उड़ान ये सफर है चैंपियंस का ग्यारह मई से हर शुक्रवार रात नौ बजे और रिपीट टेलीकास्ट रविवार सुबह दस बजे सिर्फ डीडी स्पोर्ट्स पर to special edition of IPLR on DD Sports. IPL is coming together of cricket and entertainment. And that's exactly what we'll provide you in next one hour as we also tell you about DTT play and plug-on device. Today, we'll be heading to Guwahati, a city that is considered the city of lights in East. It is a city which is an ancient one, but still one of the fastest growing in India. It is a city which has a very rich culture and heritage. So it will be Guwahati today, some cultural performances from there. But before that, let's have a look at the other cities which we've already covered and the ones which are to come up in the next few days. So we have been going across the length and breadth of the country. It is Guwahati today, that is 6th of May. And from Guwahati, we'll also be traveling to other cities and uh, first today our stop is Guwahati and then we go to Ahmedabad on 7th of May that is tomorrow and that is in Gujarat. So all of you in Ahmedabad make sure you turn up in huge numbers tomorrow and there will be some lot of cultural performances there and from there on we go to Thiruvananthapuram in Kerala on the 10th of May. Mark the date, it's 10th of May in Kerala, Thiruvananthapuram, God's own country, we arrive there and from there on we go to Patna in Bihar on the 13th of May. So Patna, a city which has rich history and ancient history. And from there on, the city of Nababs, which is Lucknow. And 16th of May, will be arriving there in Uttar Pradesh. So Lucknow is our stop on the 16th. And from there on, to Bhubaneswar in Odisha on the 19th of May. So we have been moving across the length and breadth of the country and we would be arriving in Bhubaneswar as our last stop. So well, it has been quite an exciting journey for all of us. In fact, we were there in Kolkata as well and there were some scintillating performances. We brought you those performances. Some of the performances we missed out. Here is your opportunity to have a look at them. There were some amazing performances. The culture of Kolkata, West Bengal is celebrated the literature is celebrated, the poetry is celebrated, the theatre just as much celebrated. Well, we'll get you that just in a while. Now, telling you about what DBBT2 devices are, what DTT devices are. Now, this is a DBBT2 device. Now, basically, it is a dongle. You can connect it to your phone, laptop, your computer systems. And once you have done that, all you need to do is download TV on the Go app. That's the only thing you need your internet for. Once you have done that, there's no need for you to have any internet connection. Your phone becomes your TV and then you don't even need to pay monthly charges. To know more about it, well, here is something that we've got for you that will inform you more about these devices. Now, live cricket match ka anand lijiye DD Sports par. Apne smartphone par dekhiye DD Sports. Kabhi bhi, kahi bhi. Bilkul mo. Internet ki bhi zarurat nahi. बस ऑनलाइन स्टोर से DTT डोंगल मंगाएं और लाइव मैचेस का मजा उठाएं। और ऐसे बहुत एक्साइटिंग मैचेस वो प्लेड येस्टरडे 
and they did impact the points table massively. We'll have a look at that later, but let's talk about the matches that were played yesterday. The first match that was staged was between Chennai Super Kings and RCB, and then we had a match between Delhi Daredevils and Sunrisers Hyderabad. Now, talking about the second match that was between Delhi Daredevils and Sunrisers Hyderabad, Sunrisers Hyderabad scored 164 for 3, and in fact, they were chasing the chasing team. Delhi Daredevils had scored 163 for 5 in their 20 overs. Sunrisers Hyderabad won by 7 wickets. Now, talking about this particular match, uh, this was a match in with Prithvi Shaw. We've seen how rich Hall of Form he has been in. He came into the side in place of Gotham Gambhir and since then there has been no stopping this under-19 captain who lifted the World Cup for India. Barring that one match in which he failed, he has been scoring bucket loads of runs. Yesterday in particular he got 65 runs. Now this wasn't a very easy wicket to bat on because we saw barring Yusuf Pathan, no other batsman could hit the ground running. Maybe Alex Hales to some extent, but this youngster in his teens, he showed how it is done because he scored a lot of runs there, 65 runs to be precise, and his strike rate was around 170. So the dominant fashion in which he took on the bowlers, that was pretty apparent. Now also Shreyas Ayer, he's become the captain of the Delhi Daredevils since Gautam Gabhi relinquished the captaincy and he has shown that he has young old head on young shoulders because every match barring one, he has scored in all of those matches and in fact he has risen with responsibility. Yesterday as well, he got 44 runs but then in the middle order there was slight wobble Rishabh Pant could not contribute he has been one of the consistent run getters for Delhi Daredevils Glenn Maxwell was promoted at the top but once again he is disappointed with the bat he, there were a lot of expectations on him because of the sort of player that he is he has scored when he has scored he has done it big for various franchise uh, let's have a look at how that particular match impacted the points table and where the teams are stacked as of now so Sunrisers Hyderabad, courtesy that one yesterday, have reached the top of the table. They have played lesser matches than Chennai Super Kings who are at the second position. Rajasthan Royals, they might be at the bottom, but if they win today, they will leapfrog various other teams in between to occupy the fifth position. So Rajasthan Royals, it's not all gloomy for them. Delhi Daredevils know. The qualification uh, from here looks extremely difficult. Some miracle can only save them. Royal Challengers Bangalore and Mumbai Indians are very much in because if they win the remaining matches, all of them, and that to ensure that they have good net run rate, they will get into the uh, top. They can get into the top four and qualify. So, well, uh, today there are interesting matches as well. But getting back to yesterday's match between Sunrisers Hyderabad and Delhi Daredevils, there was no dearth of support for the Sunrisers Hyderabad. And Kane Williamson, he has been leading from the front. Another example of a captain. Now, we know about their bowling prowess because they have defended totals less than 130 thrice. But they were always question marks over their batting once David Warner was banned from playing in the IPL. But again, Alex Hayes at the top is a very good promotion because we've seen that he is somebody who can really replace Warner, a like-for-like -like replacement because he's somebody who can hit big shots and in Sunrise Hyderabad there was a dire need of a batsman like him. Shikhar Dhawan started the season on a high but then in between uh, after he came back with his finger injury there were some issues he wasn't able to get the runs and with the fluency that he had been pre-injury but then again in yesterday's match we got to see the Shikhar Dhawan who has been scoring a lot of runs in this particular season. He has been really impressive also for India in the Indian colours he has been scoring a lot of runs. So Shikhar Dhawan was back at a sublime best and there was in between Amit Mishra he stemmed the flow of runs, he dismissed both the openers and in fact gave away just 19 runs in his four overs and Shreya Sayer was totally reliant on him and in between he certainly did stem the flow of runs but after that there was a bit of in between for Sunrise Hyderabad, uh, but then uh, came Yusuf Pathan, who was dropped for naught by Vijay Shankar, and he showed how expensive it was. So also. Uh, also, well, uh, we are planning, we have in fact roadshow uh, that we will be having in Guwahati. However, rain has been playing a dampener, so it has been slightly delayed. But there were some brilliant performances in Kolkata. So we will ensure that you get to enjoy those performances before we head to Guwahati for the roadshow. <laughs> Chotur dik, amar kajer lok, dumere chhe dhulo bari moy. Chotur dik, 
Oh, my God. 